kidneys are paired organs in our body that help filter the blood. If we talk about their location, kidneys are found in the back side of our abdomen, on both sides of the spine, just below the ribs. If you observe carefully, the right kidney is slightly lower than the left one. The reason for this is that the liver is located on the right side of the abdomen, occupying a lot of space, so the right kidney is positioned a bit lower to make space for the liver. The shape of the kidney resembles a kidney bean, and in an adult human, its size is about the same as a fist. Kidneys have a reddish-brown color. Their length is about four to five inches, width is two to three inches, and thickness is around one inch. Kidneys perform five important functions in our body. Osmoregulation, blood pressure, maintenance, hormone production, acid-base balance, excretion of waste products. Now, let's study the anatomy of the kidney. This is a simple diagram of a kidney. The outermost layer of the kidney is called the renal capsule. It is made of tough fibrous protein and provides protection to the kidney. Outside this layer, there is also fatty tissue that offers additional protection and insulation. If you look at the upper part of the kidney, you will notice a pyramid-shaped structure. This is a gland called the adrenal gland, which sits on top of the kidney. However, this gland is not directly related to kidney function. The kidney has one convex side and one concave side. The highlighted area on the concave side is called the helome. This is like the entry point of the kidney, where you can see three main structures. Renal artery, a blood vessel that carries oxygen-rich blood from the heart to the kidney through the abdominal aorta. Renal vein, a blood vessel that carries filtered blood from the kidney back to the heart through the inferior vena cava. Renal pelvis, a funnel-like structure that collects urine and passes it to the ureter, which then carries it to the bladder. If we remove the renal capsule, the next visible region of the kidney is called the renal cortex. When the kidney is sliced, the cortex appears as the outermost layer. The inner region of the kidney is called the renal medulla. It is arranged in pyramid-shaped structures known as renal pyramids. A single kidney may have around 8 to 18 pyramids. The areas between the pyramids are called renal columns, which act as separators. The renal columns are actually extensions of the renal cortex. You may have heard that the basic structural and functional unit of the kidney is the nephron. The nephron has three parts in the cortex, renal corpuscle, proximal convoluted tubule, distal convoluted tubule, and two parts in the medulla. Loop of Henle, collecting duct. At the tip of each renal pyramid, urine is collected in a region called the renal papillae. The papillae are connected to small tubes known as minor renal calluses. Three minor calluses combine to form a major renal calyx, and multiple major calluses merge to form the renal pelvis where all the collected urine gathers. From here, urine flows into the ureter, which then carries it to the bladder for storage. When the bladder fills with a certain amount of urine, we feel the urge to urinate. The urine is then excreted from the body through the urethra. Hopefully, you have understood the basic anatomy of the kidney. See you in the next video. Until then, goodbye and take care.